The First Sunday After the Epiphany, Year C. From the book of Isaiah, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. In the name of the one who is ever with us, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our passage from Isaiah this week reminds us that we are precious, not because we're cute, but because God considers us worthy of a price to be paid. People and nations have been sacrificed for the sake of our existence. And on a Sunday when we renew our vow to seek and serve Christ in all persons and to protect the dignity of every human being, that ought to give us pause. Those people and nations are also precious in the sight of our God. They too have been promised the blessing of peace. How then are we to cope with the knowledge that we have been purchased at such a price? How are we to cope with the knowledge that we ourselves, though beloved children of God, are not thereby exempt from such violence? The waters of baptism recall both the cleansing waters of the Jordan and the killing waters of the flood and the Red Sea. The fire of the Holy Spirit manifests itself in both the inspiring tongues of flame at Pentecost and in the incinerating fires of Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. We will not always be on the safe side of the water and the flame, but neither will we be alone. God did not abandon the people of Samaria, though they were conquered, their cities burned, and their people scattered, and the region repopulated with the resettlement of other conquered peoples. Like them, we too are beloved of God, and we know that God did not abandon them, because God did not abandon Jesus as he hung upon the cross and died, though we know from his witness there that it felt that way. We are baptized into that death so that we may know ourselves recipients of the strength God gives to his people, born from the confidence that just as our Lord and Savior rose again, both from the waters of the Jordan River and from the waters of death, so we too have risen and will rise on that day when we too will hear, You are my beloved. With you I am well pleased. In the name of our beloved, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>